So here are my top five brushes that I use every day. And if you don't use these brushes, that's why your art sucks. Come here and I show you. So here it is, the big review. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Bam! I know that there, there are six brushes <laughs> because I figured to use top five brushes because it sounds better. So I just changed the name of the brushes because I don't want you to pay attention in the name and maybe you you go on the internet and, and look for the brush because that's not the point. The point is what I do with this set of brushes and maybe you can find similar brushes that you can use it in your art using the same logic that I am using. Uh, that makes sense. So here, the first one is my sketch brush and yep i do sketches with with this brush so what is cool about it is that you're gonna make a little road is that this brush is very soft the the feeling that i have is similar of when i'm using charcoal because it's very smooth and very loose and you can you work on your sketches very freely. Let me increase the, the size a little bit so you can see what it does. So here it is. And I always start with the this sketch brush. The next one is the pencil brush. Leave it in the comments how many times I will say brush in this video. <laughs> so my pencil brush is for doing of course pencil work. But in digital art is very common that we make the art look very artificial. So I tend to use brushes that uh, reminds a little of traditional, like this one. So it's a pencil that it's very like a like a real real pencil, <laughs> and I use it to make my line work. And this brush is kind of organic not to use this 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 word but it is so i usually do all my line work using this pencil brush and after that i go to my color brush which is this one and this this brush is very cool because it has a paper texture and gives a nice effect and it's something that is very similar to traditional painting because you, you have to put a lot of layers uh, when you're using this brush, look, to, to really get the color going. So after I color mostly everything with this brush, of course, keep in mind that you don't have to follow certain rules when you, you are doing your illustration. When I was starting it out, I... Uh, I thought to myself, I have to use just two brushes, so just one brush to for color. And for line, I have to use just this one. And that makes your illustration look a little locked, if that makes sense. Because I use this paper texture brush to, to do the color here in the grass, but I didn't use it to do the color here in the, the light pole. So just use what makes sense for each part of your illustration. I also thought that everything in my illustrations should have line work. And sometimes it's better if you leave some things without lines and just put some color on it. So do it what looks better for you. Don't, don't follow stupid rules like I did. So my next brush that I use every day is this one, the ink brush. I use this one because the, my pencil brush that I showed you earlier uh, sometimes looks a little too soft and when I want to put some detail on the illustration I use it, this one which is kind of a, a ink brush and is not too soft. So for example if I want this bicycle tire to look a little rougher I use this brush to do it. 
and it gives more definition to the objects. My next one is this one, the weathering. It, it didn't even appear here because it, it's very subtle. So I call it this brush weathering because it's kind of what it does. It adds a little bit of grit to, to the art. Usually what I do is I take the color, for example, the color of the road here, and I make it a little darker, just a little. And then I use the brush. Look, it's very subtle, but it, it makes that weathering effect. I also would use it where the light hits, like here. And the last brush that I use, I use this one a lot, especially in the last phase of the illustration. And I usually use it for light effects, sometimes for shadow, but mostly for light. And here it is, my grain brush. I believe this one is from the True Grit series of brushes, which is a very cool site. So if you are looking for, for some hetero brushes, you go to True Grit. And I'm gonna show you how I use it here in the moon. Let me show you. I take my, my grain brush, pick the color of the moon, and make the light effect. I also use it a lot on characters, like this, just to make the light hit in a very subtle way. I love this brush because it makes the characters and objects of your illustration pop. So there you go, my six favorite brushes. And here I'm using Photoshop, but if you are using Clip Studio Paint, which is a wonderful software, you can even download brushes from the community of Clip Studio Paint. So it's very cool what they have there. And you can find most of these brushes or similar ones on the community inside of the software. So inside Clip Studio Paint, you have a tab that is just for the community to, to post brushes, textures, and everything. Here in Photoshop, you, you have Kyle Webster, which he has a lot of cool brushes that you can test it out and use it. These are the ones that I am using right now, but from time to time I add a new brush. The important thing is that you try out a lot of different sets, a lot of different brushes, and figure it out by yourself what works best for you. And I even know professional artists very, very cool artists that use the brushes that come with the software. The brushes that come with the with Procreate, the brushes that come with Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint has amazing uh, brushes that come with the software. So it really doesn't matter if you are buying a fancy set of brushes or if you are using the ones that came with the software. Just use it the ones that fit your style. One thing that I would say that is kind of dangerous is if you are using those brushes that make patterns like leaf patterns or cloud patterns. Usually those kind of brushes make your illustration look like something from PowerPoint. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed these tips. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I see you in the next video.